everyone, it's Kathy from Mam Talks, here solo again. We're gonna keep doing this until we can all get back together. So, it seemed like everybody liked that Tom Cruise New Year's Eve cake from last week or the week before. So I thought, let's find another celeb and see what they like and maybe come up with a recipe for them. So, it turns out that my granddaughter who is almost 16 years old, her name is Tila, and she is the number one on the planet Harry Styles fan. I promise you, she is the number one fan. So, I thought I would make something up that has to do with Harry Styles. So guess what? The guy loves Twix. Twix, the candy bar Twix, they're good. So I found a recipe for Twix blondies, which are basically brownies with a whole lot of Twix in them. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. I imagine it's gonna be very sweet and gooey, but very good. So for today, just to remind everybody, I am going to be using a wooden spatula. It's from an Etsy.com store, and it's called Loki's Workshop capital L-O-K-I-S, capital D-O-W, capital W-O-R-K-S-H-O-P. It will be on the uh, website and on the YouTube. If you want to purchase any of his handmade goodies, and they are beautiful, look at this. I mean, come on. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You go to his website, and you'll get 10% off if you use the code MAMTALKS10, M-A-A-M-T-A-L-K-S-10. Okay, let's get going. So for this recipe, the first thing, besides preheating the oven, it also said to take a 13 by nine pan, cover it with tin foil, and spray it. Set it aside, I got that noise, done. Okay, three quarter cups of melted butter, which I actually just poured in there because it was hot and I don't want to burn myself. We're also going to take two cups of light brown sugar. And the reason I'm putting this on is because the brown sugar was a little kind of hard, so I put it in the microwave to soften it, which works, but it also makes a bowl very hot. So maybe that wasn't the best idea. And now we're gonna do this on low for a little bit. Here we go and off. And now we're going to add three lovely eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm very generous with vanilla because I love vanilla and I love the smell of it. So I always think, ah, a little bit more would be not too bad. And then we're gonna put in two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, one and two. Actually, that is the rest of my pan. I've been baking a lot, obviously. And then a little bit of, of course, I'll find it for you, sea salt. We're gonna give that a little spin. Gonna mix it until smooth. Now with the mixer on low, we're going to add two and a half cups of flour. Now let's do a little bit at a time. Let it kind of blend in. Blending. So this is kind of fun looking up different recipes that some of the celebs like and then sometimes just an item like Twix and then finding something that you can make with it. That's, that's a fun challenge for me. So we're gonna keep going here. I'll put in the rest. Just throwing it all in. You know, I, I follow recipes, but I also like to just get it in there and be done. I'm gonna stop it for a minute and just kind of push down the side with this spatula. Okay. And then we will continue mixing. Goes flying around. So when this is done, oh, that mixed it really quickly. Now this is something 
I haven't yet tried. And this is pulling out the food processor because it wants 30 mini Twix or fun sized Twix. It wants them chopped really well. And I thought, well, hmm, I can't really do that by hand. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna pour a bunch in here. If you don't have a food processor, you can chop. I think whatever works. Let's see how this goes if I put in, I don't even know how many to put in, you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna put in quite a few. How's that? Okay, so apparently my food processor has a little bit of a, a short, or maybe it's just very old. So I'm gonna have to push this in. And hold it down. Doesn't this seem like kind of archaic how I'm doing this, you guys? This is supposed to keep it from coming out. And now we'll do it all the way. Sometimes you just have to get creative, right? Okay. So this is all chopped. I'm going to stir this in. I'm really having a hard time on this video, aren't I? Best laid plans, you guys. Okay, so this is the culprit that was chopping everything up. I think it gets sticky because it's got a lot of caramel. I think to do this by hand would be really difficult, not impossible. Um, if you can think of a better way, let me know. So look at this. This is all of those 30 fun size Twix just ground up. We're gonna pour that into here, okay? So we poured in the Twix. We're gonna put in a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. We're gonna give it a blend. Here we go, ready? This is a lot of sugar, chocolate, caramel, more sugar, chocolate, but I think, I think Harry Styles is going to like this. Got to find a way to get this to him, or at least get him to see the video. Okay, so now we're going to put this in the prepared pan. Okay, I think I can put that right here. I'm going to take this out. Seriously, if you can have a KitchenAid mixer or any kind of mixer, it really saves on your hands. Yeah, the caramel really wreaks havoc. It's the best part of it probably, but trust me, it wreaks havoc. So I've never had to do it that way. Um, <laughs> it always has come out without a problem. So. Again, if you find a better way, I'd be more than happy to hear about it. I'm just kind of winging it right now and taking off all of this stuff because it doesn't want to cooperate today. This is almost like, it is kind of a live video. I'm just gonna show it to you later, but it's kind of live action. So the one thing I don't mind about it is that things happen when you're cooking especially when you're making something you've never made before. So this batter, because it's so thick, I'm going to use Loki Workshop's spatula, one of their many gorgeous pieces. And we are going to move this here so you can see it, okay? And we're going to pour in this. It's just goopy, you guys. I can't imagine what kind of sugar rush you're gonna get. And it's thick. It's not easy, I'm telling you. This is like really, really thick. I feel like I'm, I'm fighting with it. It doesn't want to go into the pan. It just wants to stay in here. But guess what? I won. So now 
I have to spread this out somehow evenly. Oh my goodness, I don't think I have to do any working out today after this, I think I will be done. So it's gonna go in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes at our favorite temperature, 350, okay? And as you can see, I'm actually even struggling to spread out the batter because of how thick it is. Um, my guess is, because I've made things similar, so my guess about this cooking is that it would probably be very hard to get out of a pan and the tin foil just makes it a little bit easier. So here's the goop. Whew, I'm not kidding you. This is like, that was a workout, absolute workout. So it's gonna go in there for 25 to 30 minutes. Let me show you the goop. How's that? Let's put it in the oven. Hang on. Okay, we're off. Ready? Bye, Twix blondies. We, I, will see you back in about 30 minutes or so. Okay, I'm back. And it's been about 30, 35 minutes. And I think this baby is done. Wow, look at that. That is a lot of Twix blondies. So now I'm gonna go let it sit, cool, and then we'll be back to cut it ha, and then taste it. Okay, now is the big test, taste test. So I'm going to cut, it actually cooked really well. It did not seem to take longer than I thought it might, even though the recipe said 25 to 30, it, it was pretty right on with that. So I'm gonna cut a piece here and it looks really good. I wish I could share and have you take a smell. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go, Harry. I hope you're watching. And if you're really nice, I might make it for you. Oh my goodness. Amazing. It is not overly gooey or sweet. It is perfect. I will make sure to put this recipe on the website, www.mamtalks.com. Remember our Instagram and Facebook. Please like and share and comment. And on YouTube, of course, you're watching it. Like, share, comment, and please subscribe. We love having you. We're over 2,000 now, so we're getting really excited. And if there's a recipe you would like, a celeb recipe, or any suggestions, please let us know. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great week, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.